Okay, so welcome back guys. Um, we're now going into part two of this tutorial. And part two involves um, modeling the walls. Uh, uh, the walls which will be the exterior and interior walls of the plant. Um, just to give you a bit of context, I have already went, I have already gone and saved this file. I gave it um, past paper 2016, um, number 31. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, but uh, that's just something that I like to do just to keep me, to make sure that I could um, understand what this file is about. As well as just a bit of note, the way how I um, name these layers, you do not have to do it the same way. But the reason why I done it like this is just that I'm trying to create a bit of a standard in terms of the way I name layers. So it will be easy for me or anybody else reading to understand what the layer says. For example, if I have um, a roof out LN, I know that it's the outline of the roof. And when I'm drawing on that layer, I expect to see um, above line represented. All right? So that being said, let's go to the modeling. Uh, okay, so the model, as I said before, these are interior dimensions. And uh, we will use that as reference points. So, so we have 2,000, 2,000, 8,000, 2,400, 1,600. So I'm going to create, first I'll choose the right layer. So the right layer will be um, wall exterior. I pick a line. I I just want to pan out here to give myself some space. All right. By pressing F8, you get straight lines, or orthogonal lines. So anyway, so I'm going to use the offset tool and pick um, 2,000. Where did that go? So. I'm just going to move these two lines. Let's move it way out here. All right, so that's 2400 offset. Let's see what we have here. Oh, so it's 2000. So this line will move back 400 let's check the dimensions All right. um, let's continue this offset or oh, 2000 was correct the first time And then 2000. Now it wouldn't be from this line to this line. This line has to be offset 100 to represent the interior wall. So we do offset 100 and then offset 2000. And we can offset 150 for this line on the outside and uh, offset 100 for the interior wall then we have offset 8000 and then offset 100 2400 Offset it another 100. And 1600. And 150 for the exterior wall. Now these 
lines except for this one. Let's put that. Represent the interior walls. So I will change it to that. Then try the line from this edge to this edge. You offset that 150 up and you fill it. Escape fillet, F is for fillet. Type M for multiple. Okay. Right. So now in this direction, we have uh, 1600, 1600, 2500, and 1980. So let's do that. So offsetting. 1600 and offset that 100 for the interior wall and it offsets 1600 and offset 100 uh, 2500 offset 100 Then 1980. Offset 150 for exterior wall. Fillet multiple. So all these walls here represent interior walls. Why is it dashed? Um, open up your layer properties. They're supposed to be continuous. So cut. This one here, so fill it, trim this line, so select TR, trim, and let's clean up this a bit. We have a line that comes out here, 2800. Offset this line, 2800. Oops. Make sure this line is interior. Use it as a trimming line. Trim again, trim all. So that's fine there. Offset this line seven thousand. Change the interior. Use the extend tool, so select it, type E X for extend. Let's select both of them. Let's trim everything. Trim space bar, space bar. I take care of that. And then we have 2400, which should be the same distance as that. So select that EX. Okay. Use filler tool. 
type F for shortcut. Use the extend tool. Use the trim tool. Use 2400 offset. Another way of making this interior wall, let's type M A for match properties. Select one of the interior walls and then select this. Let's press space bar. Um, all right, so use the extend tool, select E X. I'll set this 2400 inside, so I'll set this 100 outside. Alright, so let's trim this. Fill it. We have 1400 here. Offset oh, another 100. Then we have um, 1900. As you can tell, it's just about just the same commands I'm using over and over to quickly go through the commands. Hatch properties, MA, select one of these. Simple as that. All right, um, so so far I think we have picked up all of the walls. Um, let's double check. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So this concludes the end. Um, after we will continue with the veranda and we will try to install some windows and doors. All right, take care. Bye.